It's a golf music box. Oh, that's cool. Metal. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that, needlepoint. I'll take that for 20. Oh, okay. I came back for it. Inside the frame behind. There you go, I got three hours now. Any more golf clubs or are these gonna be it? Um, you have any more for yeah, sale? That's probably look. Okay, no problem. Back. No problem. I know we're super early, so we just appreciate you letting us look. That's it. That'll do it. Since this one already has a driver, would you do five bucks just for this one? And then it's still this doesn't break up the set there. Sure. That'll work. Yeah. And you don't mind if you get rid of that for five bucks, dude. Nope. Go ahead. How about two for this one? Because That's I, fine. Two for five. All right. That'll work. Yep. There's a few good shots left in there. She's, yeah. she's the cashier. <laughs> This one already has a driver. Would you do five bucks just for this one? And then it still just doesn't break up the set. Sure. That works. Yeah. You don't mind if you get rid of that for five bucks? Look at that lamp. Yes, it's a golf music box. Oh, that's cool. Metal. Yeah. It is some really neat stuff. I think that Waterford um, thing is good. This? Yeah. I think. Up real quick. Is that needlepoint? Oh yeah, look at that, needlepoint. Framed artwork. Hey, get these two. What are they, how much? A dollar for the pair. I think that's just the track, yeah. That's cool though. I'll take that for 20. Oh, okay. I came back for it. There you go. Thank you so much. Enjoy it. Oh yeah. We're big fans of the Christmas Village stuff. That's why I was looking to see uh, if my stuff would work with it. It should work fine, so. Oh, okay. Well, I have a whole bunch of 12 and 56, but it's lining all of my cabinets. Oh, very cool. <laughs> Three bucks? Yep, sure. All right, now this thing, five bucks with the mug. How are you? Would you take uh, three dollars on this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So just look this up with the mug. Usually there's a black mug. But this one has a red mug. I'm thinking like twenty-five bucks on this. Twenty to twenty-five. So three bucks ain't bad. Slot machine. That thing's cool. Oh, we've got things. Okay, good. Okay. Ah, it's a crackle barrel turtle. Well, then we're going to have Only 50 cents. I feel like this is a good deal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a big minion. It's a big minion. <laughs> it's a big minion. Yeah. Inside the frame behind, in the box behind the frame, there's a set of instructions. Oh, okay. It's in a little envelope. You do three bucks for all of it? Yeah. That'll work. Right, 50 cents off. 
It's a nice set of Fiesta wear. That's what's on the table in front of the... Oh, yeah. It, it's an eight-piece setting. That stuff is expensive. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I priced it, and for what's in that box, it's $700. Wow. You have a good day. That is a hundred percent a very big screwdriver. That is cool. Look, huh. we have thermos screwdriver. You wouldn't take three, would you? Sure. Got five on it. Yeah, that thing is too cool for school. <laughs> All righty. There you go. Thank you. You have a good day. You guys as well. Klein tools. Klein tools. How much do you think this goes for? You think you think it only sells on eBay for five bucks? Yep. All right. Comment down below how much you think it goes for, because I think I know. How are you? Hello. Doing good. Tonkas. Yeah, I'm mean, sure. So they are, they were my daddy's. Oh, yeah. And then um, my son. They have all the original everything. Some of it needs to be just kind of looked at and cleaned up. Sure. We just didn't clean it up because, you know, he's yeah. three and he doesn't care. Yeah, exactly. Um, but they're about 55 years old. Wow. Take. Um, like he still has. His name, a, yeah, apparently that's cool. he was very possessive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta be with the Tonkas back in the day. <laughs> How much were you looking for each uh, one? Ten for each. Ten for each of forty yeah. bucks all together. Yep. Um, they are all original. Everything we didn't. The only and this one has. They're still functioning. So, like this one has the thing where you hook up to the water hose oh, wow. and it like sprays water yeah. and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. You, you wouldn't do thirty, would you, for all of them? About thirty-five. Thirty-five? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll meet you in the middle. We'll do thirty-five for Sounds all good. of them. Excellent. Where's the wife? She's over there. I was hoping she'd come help me take. Them. I saw these things from the road, and I was like, I'm surprised somebody hasn't bought them yet. Can thank Sounds you so good. much for the no good deal. Time get dry. Still got a lot of room. Tons of room. Yeah, we got a lot of buying to do. This one's the roughest the loader. We got the mighty Tonka shovel. You got a Tonka uh, crane. Got a little jacked up thing. And then you got the Tonka fire truck. All right, back from the yard sales. Let's go over the stuff that I picked up. Some of this stuff is super surprising how much it costs, especially the little thermos back there. But let's go ahead and start over here. This is a uh, Waterford crystal, like little bowl. And I did scan the barcode right there from Glenbrook 5.5 bowl. It is brand new. I mean, it doesn't even seem to be open. A little damage on the box, but uh, it scans for like 60 bucks, but also it looks like it sells though for about $29.99. That's not bad because we picked that up for only five bucks. Taylor May always talk about head covers. If it is a desirable club, always pick up head covers if you can get them for a dollar or less and then they're in good condition. These will be sold as a set and it looks like they usually sell for about 20 bucks as a set. Harry Potter. I know nothing about Harry Potter. I was never, I didn't read the books. I didn't watch the movies. I literally know nothing about Harry Potter, but I did pick this up and I realized it's from like 2001. It still has the original box. They were only asking like $3 for it. And it's pretty cool. It's a talking portrait animated room alarm. So I guess you walk in and then she does something and it works. So that's good. So for only three bucks, I was like, man, I don't think I can go wrong with this. Turns out I can't go wrong with picking it up for $3. Goes from 30 bucks all the way up to $45 with the box. It isn't new, but it's in really, really good condition. I'm gonna post it for 45 to, probably 40 to 45 bucks, and I guarantee you that will sell. So that was actually very surprising. In my brain, I always think like what I think it's gonna go for. Thought that would go for about 15, definitely wrong there. Turtles, if you know, we like turtles, but uh, these actually go for about $15 to $12 online. One's posted, I think, for $16 plus shipping. They are a little stoneware tortoise salt and pepper shaker from Cracker Barrel. At least I think it's from, there it is, Cracker Barrel. So we might post these or we might keep these, but if we do post them, it's going to be $12. Kayla picked up this really cool Christmas uh, little dish here. It is from Johnson Bros, and they actually have some pretty cool stuff on eBay if you look them up and then go from highest to lowest. Some of their stuff sells for pretty good. 
This little music box is awesome looking, but really thought it would sell for a little bit more, probably about $7 there. Needlepoint, now, I know nothing about Needlepoint either, but I am on a show with Kat the Nurse Flipper on Tuesdays, and she always talks about Needlepoint, and she talks about, you know, that it sells. If you look online about like how much this stuff sells for that's framed and kind of artwork, and doesn't even have to be from somebody famous, it just has to look good. And this is like a little scene in some city somewhere with somebody, are they riding a bicycle maybe? What is that? That is not a human, I have now looked at it, I think it's just a pole. But this right here, some of these things can go for like 10 to $15 a piece, some a lot more. I'm thinking probably $5 a piece. Or I might sell them as a set, maybe for 10 bucks or 15 bucks. Got them for 50 cents a piece, which is a really good deal. Mickey Mouse already went over how much that thing's gonna go for. Uh, this actually goes for a decent amount of money. There was another one that I thought this was that actually goes for only like 20 bucks. That's why I offered uh, five bucks for it. But this one actually goes between 60 to 80 bucks, depending on the condition. And the condition on this one's really good. So I'm thinking that it's gonna go for probably $75. Adam's idea hybrid. These usually only go for about 15 to 20 bucks, but to pick them both up for five dollars, smoking good deal. Now let's go over. We'll go over that at the end if you guys said how much you think it's worth, because I'm telling you, it's very surprising. Kayla's thought it was only worth five bucks. I'm telling you, it's worth a lot more than that. Tonka trucks. All right. So pick these Tonka trucks up. I don't know much about them. I know the older ones go for a lot more money than the newer ones, obviously. She said that these were her dad's and uh, they just look old. They look like they're well built, they're all metal. And so I was like, like stamped steel and I was like, these things have gotta be worth it. At least in my brain, I was thinking $25 a piece. Hopefully a little bit more because I paid $35 for all of them, which I really thought was a good deal. You got the fire truck here, you got the Tonka Mighty Shovel, you got the Mighty Crane, and then you got the Mighty Loader. And it looks like that they are all from the same era or the same time. I'm, I'm sure maybe they bought them as a set, and I don't know if that's how they were sold back in the 70s, but I did date the these two, probably the 1970s to 1973, by that sticker right there. And you can it seems like you can date these just by the sticker, so if it says, USA looks like it was uh, Tonka USA, usually, you know, from 1970 to 1973. It could be wrong, but I just looked, did a quick Google search. Uh, the only parts that are actually missing is this one is missing that little stack back there, the exhaust stack. But other than that, they're all here and they're just dirty. Like they're not really in terrible condition. They're not rusted. So I actually think I'm going to get more money than I think. I think I'm going to probably get like 30 bucks for this one. This one's actually hard to find. For me anyway, they, they have a lot of ladder trucks. This isn't a ladder truck. This is one that has the, the the water here and it shoots the water out the back. It has the ladder, has the hoses, and has like the little fire hydrant right there. And uh, like I found one on Worth Point that went for 60 bucks that was in way better condition. I'm thinking maybe 30 on that one. I'm thinking maybe 40 to 50 on that one, maybe 40 to 50 for the crane. And this one's in the worst condition, has a busted tire. The rest of the tires are Nice, uh, maybe 30 or 40 there. So say if I get 35 for this one, the rest is profits or maybe 130 to $150 in profit, which really isn't bad, but there will be some time here on the cleanup. Now, this guy right here, if you ever see this, pick this up. This is the most expensive thermos ever. That's probably 100% not true, but first time I've ever found it. I actually learned this off of Instagram the other day, probably about a month ago, and I remembered it. Klein Tools, always a cool, good tool brand to look up. And this thing goes between $35 to $45 used. That's pretty good for a thermos. All right, so let's talk about this really rare, because that's what it says on, uh, on eBay, right? Rare, it's not, well, we'll talk about that too. The, uh, the Village Animated Track. Now, I wasn't lying, I actually bought this. You could flip it uh, probably over $100, right? You know, they sell brand new for 300 bucks, and it seems like they have a really good sell-through rate when they're new for $300 free shipping. It would probably cost 50, 60 bucks to ship it, so 250 plus shipping probably, right? So it was a no-brainer at 20 bucks to go ahead and pick this thing up. It looked like the box is in good condition, peaked inside, the track looked fine that I could see, but I didn't obviously take it out now. Here's the thing, the only rare thing about this is that it actually works, that's the rare part. If you find one that works, you got something because I then did a little bit more research, I did very quick research in the car and 
you know, sometimes you just, you see a, a good soul comp, you buy it, you go home, do a little bit more research and you realize, probably should have left that behind. That's what this thing is. This is a big, I should have left it behind. And so if you ever see these and you know, you go, you know, that that's a good deal. You know, it looks like they go for two, three hundred dollars. Yeah, they do if they're new. Used probably a hundred plus shipping, I would say. Um, and it was not going to be that hard to ship. It's already in a big box. Just wrap it in another box. And it's really not that heavy. So I was like, not a big deal to ship this thing. And uh, the thing is, is that the inside here, this track that it looks like, so I did more research on these. It looks like this track if it's stored in like a hot area, like this is almost like plastic on the inside of here, like, you know, soft plastic and it dry rots. This entire track is dry rotted. Now what I can do is my motor actually works. So what I can do is go ahead and just take the motor out and sell the motor probably for $10, 20 bucks and get my money back. But I was actually gonna use this because Kayla and I do a pretty big snow village display in our house uh, because we did get, who remembers the huge Department 56 lot? But we actually kept between nine to 10 items and we actually been kind of picking up ones that we like here and there. And I was gonna use this for a track that was gonna be really cool because it's animated. What you do is that this thing goes around so you can have your little, you know, uh, whatever you want to go around your village, you could do that. And what they do is you attach it to little things over there that go inside the track. But if you find one of these, my only precaution is make sure the track is working and the motor works before you buy it. All right, let's go over some stickers that I have received. Uh, thank you so much for the Pelican Traders. A sticker will be heading your way. I really like this reflective one. Uh, very cool there and thank you so much for the nice letter. All right, now this is from Michael Daddy Does Deals, also a auto, uh, sales right there in Ohio and I actually in the next couple years Kayla and I will probably be looking out for another Tahoe or Suburban hopefully so we will you said come see it and we just might up there in Ohio and uh, thank you so much for this really cool sticker that will also be going on the toolbox and then Bruce and Lisa thank you so much for these cool stickers they will also be going on the toolbox and uh, stickers are heading y'all's way you actually should probably get them by the time you see this video if not maybe a couple days after and then Tony uh, I would show you what you sent us but we've already listed it you told us to go ahead and list the pins that you sent and we definitely did Kayla got right on that so they are not here because they are listed in the storage unit all right now if you didn't know we actually do have merchandise on our Etsy store which is linked down below in the description uh, most of it has actually already sold out and we just haven't replenished any of it Kayla makes all of our merchandise uh, we have the silver tumblers right here still in stock they're really great. I actually use one daily. Um, if I'm not using my Yeti, I use this guy right here. And we also have green ones. And then uh, we also have a couple hats still available. Most of those have sold out, but I think there's a couple more available. And Kayla has made her bracelets like she said she was going to do. And these are all going to be from thrifted beads that she finds. And as you can tell, like right there. So all of them are unique. I don't think any of them are going to be exactly the same unless she has the same exact beads. But most of them are unique and one of a kind, handmade by Kayla right there. They are also on the Etsy store, link down below. So not a bad Saturday at yard sales, thought it was pretty good. The thermos and the Harry Potter, definitely way more than I thought, but this is what I do. This is Kayla and I go places, buy stuff cheap, flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. I really appreciate everybody that has been watching, subscribing, and just your comments mean a lot because it does help us and that is free to do. So we really like it when you give a thumbs up or give us a comment, it really does help the channel out. As you can tell, our thrifted shelves are done. I'll give you a little tour of them if you guys wanna see. And most of the stuff on these shelves are gonna be, we'll probably change things out periodically. Most of them have been given to us by y'all or it has been, or that we have found it and thrifted it and stuff that I collect. But uh, we only got three shelves here. We might do more up here. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we did. Now remember the shelves were actually, if you remember the video where we picked up the wood and I wish we would have bought a lot more of that wood. We only bought three of these and actually we used the entire amount. So I wish we would have bought more because I would probably would have done more shelving up there. And uh, some of this stuff has been given to us like the little red line actual Hot Wheel that won't be sold. That's got a place on the shelf. Some Jurassic Park stuff back here as who remembers the snap on racing blocks? Well, guess what? I have two left, not including this one. So one's gonna go up on auction in the beginning of December. We're also gonna be doing a couple giveaways in December for Christmas time. I've been talking to a company that actually has a, 
it's good. I'll tell you this. You're going to like the giveaway. It's very useful as a reseller. You can use it or you can sell it and make a couple hundred dollars. So, uh, but this will also be going up on auction soon. I sign them. There's only two left in existence. So once they're gone, they are actually all gone. We got some dinosaurs up here. I got the original uh, hat right here from Jurassic Park. Then I got the remake here that I found at a uh, yard sale or thrift store, but this one 100% was at a yard sale. I still remember that. And then uh, this thing back here, which we thought was really cool. We're gonna put a light in it, so it illuminates some light. I haven't done that yet, but that will look really cool. Jack and Monica, we got your thing up here. Thank you so much. Got the gold brick. One day, hopefully it'll be real gold. And you know, we got a rep Commonwealth picker and then the original. And a man. Again, I do appreciate everybody that watches. You know I will always get you on the next one.